Good evening, everyone. Treasure Troller here from the militant state of Michigan, where our governor and di dictator Gretchen Whitmer specifically targeted Treasure Troller with a law prohibiting him from vlogging and driving at the same time. So as you can see, maybe, from the other vlogs, we're up in the air, we're elevated. So we're we're back in the in the van. Had to take care of a few things uh, this last week, and had to have the van checked over. And we're back just in time for just perfect sleeping weather. I got halfway to work, and they said I didn't have to go into work tonight. So we're living like Lamont tonight under the nice cool winter. Uh, well, late summer night, get up early, head over to Planet Fitness, probably go about 50 miles on the treadmill, get a good warm-up in, and then we'll do some serious shit. And then it'll be, uh, maybe get a couple of vlogs. I'm thinking about redoing a couple of vlogs. Um... Yeah, for some of you that didn't know, uh, Lamont and I had kind of this small town murders thing. And then that disbanded, and that's when I started the murder book. And I got to check it over, but I think there's a couple of uh, vlogs down here that I could redo and put them back up and get some of those, uh, get some of those going again. But I came across this today online, and there's a lot of things about this that I, I found interesting. It's uh, this article about these inmates that had kidnapped this 72-year-old prison guard uh, and held them hostage. So first I want to say, you know, I hope the guy's doing okay. It said he had minor injuries. I hope he's doing okay, the prison guard. I... I can't think there's much, you know, sort of credibility that goes uh, around the prison yard with beating up on a 72-year-old man. Uh, but anyways, they beat the guy up, they handcuffed him and shackled his feet, took his keys, opened up a bunch of uh, cells in the pod, and then... Um, we'll get to that part... I think the part that turned it all. But anyways, I hope he's doing okay. Uh, you know, God bless the guy, 72 years old, and and is working. So he's probably now with the assault. They're they're going to retire him with a little bit of a with a little bit of combat pay. I doubt the guy wants to retire. He was probably making really good at 72 with Social Security and working there as much as he wants. Dude was probably making serious bank. Uh, but I hope he's okay. But I think this is kind of why or where some of the inmates that had a little bit going on upstairs realized, well, they were fucked. So when <clears throat> I was thinking about this, when anything from... Any death that occurs up to about age 60 is died unexpectedly. But then you go, well, how unexpected? Let's look at this. Uh, you know, 30-year-old movie star dies unexpectedly. And you go, okay, well, there's got to be something more to this. And then you start looking because there's not a, there's not a lot of reason that a 30-year-old just dies. But when you get from 60 to 70, you die suddenly. So-and-so, age 65, died suddenly today. You know, you're, you're out walking around in the park, you're walking your dog, heart attack, boom. You die suddenly. But after 70, there's no surprise here. Died expectedly. <laughs> So I think this is kind of where the the prisoners 
went wrong in this whole kidnapping thing is because they said to the guy that um, if they come in, if they come in to get you or, you know, if, if the police come in, we're going to slit your throat. Now, if you say that to a 30-year-old prison guard, he's going to shit his pants. If you say that to a 45-year-old guy who's married and got a couple of kids, he's probably going to beg for his life. When you say it to a 72-year-old guy, he's going to say, fuck, okay, I don't care. I've got this job and I've got death. I'm, some, I'm expected to go any time now. And I think that's where some of the guards, when they heard him, or some of the prisoners, when they heard the prisoner say that to the guy, they thought, oh, fuck. He doesn't care. There's no collateral damage here. The only damage that's going to take place is what they do to us. And so I'm, I imagine a few of them went back into their cell and shut the door. You just can't, <laughs> you can't do that with a 72-year-old. So, that's about it today. Probably going to spend the next, uh, I don't know, till maybe Sunday anyways. So to tell Labor Day weekend is pretty busy, and this is, you know, that's the only disadvantage this weekend it's freaking Labor Day. So, how busy it can be. They'll be busy at my favorite park. But, um, try to get a couple vlogs in. I got to do some research at the library. And, so that's the thing about, Lamont doesn't have this. I'm, uh, the one thing I've sort of noticed is, I kind of got to figure out how he gets away from it. But you can't have a lot of things in your car. Or like I've got like this portable battery, this portable battery, which is cool. But then I have the inverter. Um, but you're, you're really, you're riding around. What you really have is a bed and a battery cell. You're living, you know, with a bed on top of a bunch of batteries. Because to do anything, you need no more batteries. Then you have to have a way to charge all this shit up. So, um, there's kind of a fine line between how much shit you can actually have going. And, um, yeah, I, I keep, I, I guess I keep going back about this because the diesel heater thing. I was thinking about putting in one of the bowl, one of those portable diesel heaters. It sounds great. The exhaust goes outside. It was either that or one of those little buddy heaters. And um, but the portable heater, uh, the the diesel heater, uh, it needs uh, a battery. So then that's another battery you got to put in. One more thing you got to freaking charge. Um, so unless I can find the outlet on the side of a Walmart, Walmart building, um, it's kind of hard to keep everything at 100%. So probably going with the little buddy. But not tonight. Tonight is going to be like freaking perfect sleeping weather. Uh, it's just really nice out tonight. Uh, that's it. So with that, this is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.